Bach's partita in A minor is one of the most important pieces in the flute repertoire. And it's extremely exciting and fun to play because it is a complete tour de force that shows both the control and the virtuosity of the instrument and the player. It uses the entire range of the instrument from the lowest note to the highest note in a way that really allows the audience to understand what it must be like to be playing the instrument. As we've discussed in previous lessons, very little historical precedence for solo flute repertoire. And Bach himself hadn't heard a flute ever been played until just a few years before he wrote this piece. We're really lucky that we even have this piece of music because it's the only solo repertoire that he wrote for a woodwind instrument. The oboe doesn't have any solo repertoire, neither does the bassoon or the recorder. It's just the flute that he wrote for, and we can really thank the virtuosi of the time who inspired Bach to write this piece. It was around 1717 to 1723 that Bach first was introduced to the flute. It was during the six-year period that he was living in a town called Kurten, and it was the only time in his career that he was not working for the church. What that meant is that he had much more freedom in the types of music that he was allowed to create, and as a result, wrote a lot of what we call his secular music, so the music that wasn't for the church. We call his church music sacred music, and this other music, non-church music, secular. Some other examples of his secular music are his violin partitas and sonatas, his cello suites, and his keyboard pieces, all of this music was written during this six-year span in Curtin. In addition to all of that solo